Okay, good day class. So for today, we are going to discuss the action plan. Okay, so action plan, this explains how well your business operate and how your business is being managed. Okay, so the marketing and sales plan will spell out the steps of your business. Kung saan pag take or saan pag achieve sa financial and sales goal. But the action plan, it will explain how kung saan pag operate o pag manage sa inyong business. So for today, this would be our learning outcome. Prepare the action plan for your proposed business. So action plan, this is very essential step in any business. So you're going to consider the following details. Okay, so unsang actions ang kailangan ni himuon, to what standard na siya buhaton, unsa ang mga policies and procedures nga adhere, uh, who is responsible for the action, and unsa nga task ang kailangan, and you're going to uh, create a timetable for the actions, and then you're going to support the mechanism. So it is very important that the actions is very clear, and it identifiable na siya. That the mechanism is identified so that the action is being monitored and controlled. It could be in a, on a regular or systematic basis. So these are the areas that requires action plan. Uh, the business establishment, the operations, the marketing, the technology, the human resource or labor requirement, the management and organizational structure, the financial plan and projections, and the quality management. Okay, so, mani siyang area na kailangan ng action plan since, yeah, ana alang ka ana, but wala kay gihimo. Diba? So, na kay marketing strategy, pero wala na siya action, wala, kay, wala na gi applied. Diba? So, very important ka ayo na kita on unwat kung unsa mga areas ang kailangan ng action plan, na how are you going to realize those things. So here I am giving an example of a action plan, a timetable, which is a compilation of the deadlines set, which is also one of the key strategies so that you don't miss the deadlines in your business. Okay, so like for example, secure banking fund. So kano sa ang Jo Ananiya so January one. So very important kina siya since if mo Jo na nasa so na na siya mga additional ng mga charges and those charges is mo add kina siya o cost sa inyong business, di ba? So as much as possible mo lessen kita sa cost so that you will gain profit kinsa to ang business. Okay, so this timetable is may useless ni siya if it is not being monitored. Okay? So, this is uh, monitoring and evaluation is very important also. ba? Like, naaka itong timetable, pero display na dahil siya. So, useless siya. So, very important din na siya that you have to monitor because monitoring, it is a valuable tool that measures the progress of your business. For example, uh, if you find that your income is done for a month, so you should take note, okay? You have, you should not take as a panic and change or throw your business. Rather, you should take note of it and determine mga possible causes and take actions about it, okay? So, monitoring, or evaluation, so it is a long-term process, which is all about looking back to see how well you've met the goals you set for your business. Uh, evaluation also, it could be based on, it could be based or it could occur based on annual ba annual basis before kind of set some budgets for your next financial year. Okay, so evaluation process may include Mga key performance indicator, mga gap analysis, mga customer feedback, compliance reports, mga employee feedback. So here is an example. 
So, business plan, monitoring, ongoing, evaluation, ano niya, annually, mga action plan, it could be, ang monitoring, ano niya, is monthly ba, weekly ba, uh, mga responsible, daily, by, or, or per person na siya. So, the evaluation, ano niya, it could be determined by duration of action, always on completion. Ngayon, Anna. So, muna siya example sa monitoring and evaluation process of business plan. And also, you have to consider the key performance indicator. So, it is very important that key performance indicator will measure good regularly kung sa mga important ka steps. It would provide mampun og mga warning signs sa inyong system, if na ibay progress or ni lack ba ang operation. And it could be directly linked to your goals and objectives. So you have to determine if it is suitable for your business. Okay, so these are some of the key performance indicators like total number of customers, uh, the total number of customers per department, the average dollar spent, the total revenue, the sales per product, the average sales. Okay. okay, so, of course, these are the key performance indicators since if gamay lang inyohang customers, then possible na gamay na po ng inyohang revenue and there could be a problem in your marketing strategy or even the product that you offer. Okay, so, after identifying the problem, after listing down the problem, then you're going to take an action now. Okay? So here, another also key performance indicator. So, to be effective, a KPI should follow directly from your business system. And it should be that uh, comparable, it is comparable to use of your business. You have to know the information, but kung saan ang measure sa inyong industry, kung saan available po sa inyong industry. And also, you have to set controls and procedures sa system so that your business, so that your business or you can rely sa mga results. Like mga simple computer programs, it could speed and analyze general business indicators automatically. And also, very important po sa inyong key performance indicator, yung involved niyo ang inyong staff sa review process. Because since they are the one who is involved in the operations, sila yun basically ang nag-conduct sa operations, sila ang naging face-to-face -face sa mga customers ninyo. So, basically, sila yun ang na ay valid information regarding kung unsa ang problema. For your laboratory activity 9, you're going to prepare the action plan for your proposed business. So again, you're going to have an introduction, your objective, your methodology, and the result. So what actions you're going to take in your proposed business, who is the responsible person, and the target date. Ngayon ma-achieve na ninyong inyong actions nga nga inyohang target sa inyohang uh, proposed business. And then, your learnings, challenges, and suggestions. Okay? So, if you have any question regarding on the discussion and in doing the activity, so you can message me directly and immediately ma-answer mga ganun niya. Okay? So, that would be all and thank you.